Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to do uh, how to play and play through a feudum. Um, it took a while to get to this point. We had to do a lot of research and watch a lot of videos, uh, play through, did a little bit more research, um, just quite a bit to get to this point where we feel comfortable enough to video it. And so this is a very complex game on BGG. It's a 4.51 or it might be a little higher than that, but just extremely complex. Um, so we're just gonna jump right into it. So each player picks a color and that's how you start. Um, you get three dice, you get seven influence markers, you get two of the uh, reefs and the little token, one will go to the zero points, you get seven food, you get seven of these little silvers, you get your color uh, little bag, circular uh, thing, you get your uh, how to play pretty much player A cards, which once you uh, play it through like probably like one and a half times or even if you just play half time and then you start again, you like we did and then play again. So once you figured this out, this actually becomes very handy. Uh, prior to that, this is uh, could be Greek. <laughs> so yeah, the book explains it more. Yeah, in detail of what these mean. Yeah, but once you figure it out, this is extremely handy. Okay, so you pretty much fill the each of these little areas, uh, and it's all determined on. You can see it in the book, and you'll be able to place it. Once you place it, then you, uh, and I'm talking about these, you put four, you put four here, um, you put two on each one. Um, you fill these with like one, two, three, four, and then the final ones when the, end, the game ends. You get, um, you put these little circles and you put them upside down. You're gonna to wanna to look for the blue ones on the back because if if there are some that have the, and these are for the upgrades, so they don't have the blue solid on the back. And then also the little uh, pink circles in the inner. But the pink circles in the inner, these are the main ones that you're gonna to wanna to put on these locations. And then the solid without the pink centers, you put them on the other, but you're gonna to have to randomize it. That way it's uh, pretty much replayability and stuff. So, and then the first player token gets the dice and the first player token. Um, that will come in handy because you'll be able to eliminate these after each round. So once you do that, you flip them over If you hear our dog sneezing. Okay. And each person also gets, forgot to mention, 11 cards. And they will be, each one will be uh, the color of that you chose. And everyone has the same 11 cards. And then, let me see. This system round track for count points, it goes from zero to 150. This is the epoch right here. And as you upgrade, you also pretty much uh, count your points here. Like if you're epoch one, if you upgrade to a farm, you get two points. If you upgrade to a town, you get three points. And the question mark, it's actually a feudum. So once you upgrade to a feudum, you get four points. Now, if you go, if you're on Epoch two, you will be upgrading. You get more points. You get three, four, five. You know, Epoch three, you get four, five, six. Epoch um, four, you get five, six, seven. And so that's how it goes because the last one's pretty much uh, game ended. So, 
And then when you upgrade to a few them, you get to choose which one you want to upgrade to. And then you'll be able to put them, um, which will help you in your influence with the guilds. And then there's, uh, you also can buy boats here. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be two there. Forgot to put them there. What, um, it does, does it matter? Well, you're supposed to be random, but. Oh. Like between three? Yeah. Okay. And so you're supposed to have two boats there, which you'll be able to buy. Okay, the boats, this is the way this works. The boats can travel in the little waves. Uh, the submarines could travel throughout the bubbles, and the flying ship could travel through the um, kind of looks like birds. Arrows, I guess. Yeah. Well, I. They do look like birds. Okay. We randomly chose a airship and a boat. Yeah, and so one thing about the epochs too. The epochs, not only do they get eliminated at the end of each round, but as you upgrade from a town to a feudum, you get to pick an epoch. Now with the epoch, or with the landscape, you're, you're, you can place it and pick the whatever it is. Like this one's three silver. Now once you place it, you put three silver. You could collect it instantly. But at the end of each round, you get points for landscapes. So if it's empty, you get two points. And that's for the end game score. But if you keep some, uh, like if you kept one silver, it's you'll be able to get four points. You don't have to collect all of it. You could collect two and then leave one. You're still able to get four points. Okay. And the only way you could pretty much uh, put the landscape is with, let me try and remember what card it is. Improve. The improved card. And I believe it's... One wood, right? Yeah, right here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right here, it's the improved card. And you'll be able to put the landscape and you pay one wood. And you're, you're able to put the landscape on there. If you have a surf. Yeah, okay. if you have a surf on there. And you'll notice it has a little surf symbol. And what the surf is... There's a leader, and then the surf is the influence token that's not, that's either supporting the ruler or Anthony could be ruling. And if I had my influence token there, I'm still the surf. You're the surf, whether you're the ruler or not. The surf is basically the token that's not the ruler or supports the ruler if it's yourself, if that makes sense. All right. And I believe that's everything, isn't it? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? I mean, there's still a lot. I mean, you can, okay, you can put um, sulfur here. Yeah. And you can put up to three sulfurs in these barrels, which will allow you to uh, put it on top of your ponds. ponds. And what that does, you can put on top of your ponds, which would feed your ponds for two turns. Um, there's also... Otherwise, you have to give them food yeah, every, each every round. Yeah. Um, and so everything else we could just, um, it's probably best to do and show as we play through because it, there's a lot. So your turn. We're just going to start. <laughs> okay. And I will admit, Anthony knows this game much better than I do, even though I've played it. I have a love-hate relationship with this game. I really like it. I love the artwork. I love the, the concept of it. And I love the game. But they just threw the whole kitchen sink at the thing. It's like 50 games in one. Well, that's a, that is an exaggeration. But it is, there's too much, I think. They could have scaled it down just a little bit. In other words, this game, it's anyone who plays board games and it's a board game collector or play um a lot of board games. This would be uh, something that if you bought a board game and you bought like two or three expansions and you threw it all at once, with, and you're learning that pretty much from the start, 
that's what this is. Yeah, it feels like a game so, with two more expansions. Yeah. It's like they have, can you give me the monster and the serpent? Oh, yeah. There's these, these are totally part of the game, but I honestly don't think they really need to be part of the game because I did use the monster. The monster just gives you more ability to peel, um, collect resources, move. It gives you an extra move action. It gives you an extra attack point when you're attacking, but you have to give three influence tokens to to obtain him. And honestly, I feel it hindered me more than helped me. Even though I did win the game, I was struggling to have enough influence. She markers. won by two points. Yeah, I barely won. <laughs> I feel that was an unneeded addition to the game, the monster and the serpent. And and then another, there's several things that I feel kind of hinder the game more than help it and make it more difficult and a bigger learning curve than it needs to be. The Just this board alone is awesome. Like the guilds, um, the mecha mechanisms and everything, all of this is great. It's those couple of things that are added that feel like, they should have been more expansions um, to add on later, but I mean, that's just my opinion. I, I do really like this game. Yeah, the mechanics in this game are phenomenal. It's the, just, the point salad is like, it would be hard to play another game that has the point salad value to this game. But it's just like, like I said earlier, it's pretty much learning a full game plus two expansions all at once. <laughs> And so, and you have to because it's the game. And so it's the core game. But if this was cut down, um, this would have been easier to just, you know, break it down and then add to expansions and then learn it. But just phenomenal game. It's just, right. it's hard, it's hard to uh, play a game this big. Just be prepared start. if you like this game and purchase this game to be, be prepared to study <laughs> a lot and play through it one or two times before you really fully grasp it. Like I'm sure I'll still be struggling with remembering what everything does and what we're referring to the book a lot. And although they had, they also refer on these cards, the bottom right is supposedly the advanced rule on the cards. But in my opinion, you're missing a big part of the game if you don't play with those. So I don't consider them to be really advanced. To me, they're they are they are a necessity to be able to do well in this game because they give you op several options. Yeah, and so one thing I forgot about the cards. Uh, if you have the up down arrow, that means you have to pick either or, mm -hmm. as opposed to without the arrow, that means that you get to do this. But if you also have the priest or a cleric. Uh, you get to do the advanced, and so it kind of there's a lot of things you do with the cards. Mm -hmm. You might only have a limit cards, but there's a lot you can do. And then on the repeat card, it allows you to repeat any action. Mm -hmm. You can only do that normally if they have a times two in the upper right corner. But the exception is if you pay a salt, salt. Peter, the white the white um, resource, you get to do any, but the comp, it's but all but two of the cards. Yeah. You can repeat any of them, except is it conquer and, def and defense? Yeah, that conquer you can't and do? yeah, conquer and defense, it doesn't matter, you cannot do. So if you pay a salt, Peter, it allows you to break that rule on any card that doesn't have the times two, except for the conquer and defense cards. I and they I'm inform right. you with the, uh, with the little, it's crossed off that you can't do it, so. And the conquer, you have to, it can't be your last card played, yep. right? Yep. Correct. Yeah, so there's a lot to this game, but once you get it, it's a really fun game. Yep. But I will, I'll admit it, my head was, <laughs> my head hurt so much. I, mm. Even though I was having fun, I was like <laughs> grumbling the whole time. Oh. <laughs> I was just having a hard time, so. Okay, so. Pretty much uh, the way the game uh, starts is uh, we have to put, you remember two? Oh yeah, our pawns. Yep. So you pick a guild that you want to represent. represent. Yep. And all three of your dice have all the guilds on them. So there's the mechanic, there's the, I know it's a crown, I don't remember what that guild is called. It's probably on the back here. 
No. Yeah, the guild names are... Uh... I don't know the guild names. But there's the crown that represents this guild right here. There's the... The priest, which represents the church. So this is the noble guild, priest. That one's the oh, knight. Oh, this is actually monk. Knight. Oh, monk and knight. And the knight has the... Is it a, like That's an right axe? Here. Yep. And then there's the farm, which has the pig. Some of them I can remember. Then the merchant, which has the little shillings. Oh. And then the alchemist. Yep. Which has... So, whichever guild you choose to represent on your pawn gives you influence. The influence is right here on the guild. Um, the pawn is worth one influence. A feudum, if you pick a feudum later, once you upgrade a town to a feudum with that symbol, that's worth three. So say Anthony had a pawn, and then I upgrade to a feudum of that same guild, I will knock him off the guild master seat. He'll be um, the journeyman, mm -hmm. and then I would be the guild master because I have more influence. You have to have at least a feudum or a pawn of that guild symbol to be the guild master. You can rule, um, like for the farm, it's the farm token, which gives you an additional influence of one, but that only adds on to the feudum or the pawn. You can't be a guild master, even if you have like more influence in farms than you did. Than he, like if I had three farms, he only had one pawn, which is worth one. He still would be the guild master because that's you have to have that um, first. Okay, so I'm going to be, and there's different benefits to picking each guild on the cards in the advance. Like, Monk is um, allows you to take an extra move, right? Yeah. The Alchemist allows you to, when you're migrating another pawn on the board, you can migrate it. You don't have to put it, follow the rule. Normally, you have to put it in the same location as your existing pawn or where you rule. Um... But the alchemist allows you to place it, I think, on any starting, any start location, right? Oh, uh, the alchemist? Yeah, I think. I think. Um, we would have to look that up to make sure. But they each have their own advantage. The farm, if you have the little pig representing the farm, when you harvest, you get to um, actually choose which ones you pull back, whereas normally it's random. You don't get to choose which resources. That's also an advantage. So it's kind of hard to choose. They're, they all have an advantage. I didn't realize she gets to remove a, a uh, noble and play may remove a subject or serve. You did that to me, remember? Oh, Several yeah. times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hated that card. <sighs> so, yeah, there's a lot of advantages. It's kind of hard to choose. Okay, well, your first player. Oh, I've got to choose. Okay, I'm going to choose, just because you drove me crazy with that one, I'm going to choose the Noble. <laughs> and I can um, put, you have to have influence markers to be able to do it. If you don't, you've got to obtain more and put it there as soon as you can. So that puts me right now as the guild master for the Noble Guild. Okay, and I'm going to put mine right here okay and he picked the alchemist so, so he will be the guild master and what that means is there's the guild master and we will explain this later this is a little hard to grasp at first they each guild has a push and pull um action you can do and there's a trade action so there's three three actions within each guild everyone can trade it, you don't have to be part of the guild um, if you're the guild master, you can use the push action. Which gives you a lot of points. Yeah, that's how you get points. If you're the journeyman, you can do the pull actions. And basically what that means in a nutshell, um, the push action, you're pushing resources over to the next guild. Am I right? Yep. And pull action, you're kind of pulling resources from a guild into this guild. So it's, but you, uh, you have to be either the journeyman or the guild master to do those. You, as a guild master, you can't do the pull action and vice versa. Um, so right now we can both do the push actions for those guilds if we wanted to. So Another thing too, we need to uh, 
Um, we pick three random little um, from the little bag. The oh little... yeah. Okay, and that's our additional resources. You get seven food, but I randomly drew a saltpeter, a sulfur, and an iron. The saltpeter. This is what these little pouches are for. The saltpeter, when you're choosing your cards, you choose four cards by default. That one allows you to pick a fifth card. So you have to decide that before both of you um, have chosen all your cards and you're supposed to say what? Long live the king yeah. when you're done <laughs> choosing your cards. Um, so if I choose to spend that saltpeter I can do a fifth card. I did that a lot. And then the sulfur allows you to do a sequential action. You don't have to wait and play your repeat card on your next turn. You could do it, bam, right then if you spend the sulfur. And then the rest, the iron, wood, and food are spent um, either to upgrade your tokens or um, nourish your pawns. So they're used for other things. Okay, so now we're gonna, we need to pick our cards it's and that's it's a tough one to choose what you're gonna do there's so much you can do in this game yeah you would think that just with 11 cards so you're kind of limited no no because each card does two things essentially <laughs> so you gotta choose which action you're gonna take on the card and then um whether you're gonna repeat a card Oh, he didn't tell you about the moves. You get one move for each pawn you have on the board. And if you happen to get the monster or the serpent, sea serpent, those give you an additional move. Um, if you do double, take a double move action, it's called, what is that called? The, it's a, I forgot. It's a track. E. Yeah, it's a track. It's the... Epic Voyage. Yeah, Epic Voyage track. So you can place your little token that you've got over here waiting on the first circle. And each time you do that, you can do the next circle. And basically that's additional end game points. Okay. We'll be filling your head with a lot this, <laughs> this whole playthrough. <laughs> and when you... Oh, did you tell them pretty much when you move, it's determined on also your... Uh, your palm. How many? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm, it's taken a little while. Okay, I think I'm good. And I will tell you, Anthony pulled a sneaky move which uh, drove me crazy and I didn't know about that move because I didn't study this game. He did, so he kind of withheld some information, but I won anyway. I, so I, I didn't want to pull it. I didn't, I didn't, there's so much to remember, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't even remember till the end. Yeah, he got a lot of grief for that, for withholding some important information. Like if, one of the end game scoring is if you rule three of a kind, you get points. Didn't know that. Another one is you can unseat a ruler that is all alone by themselves using, if you ha represent the crown, right? You have to represent that. Mm -hmm. Am I right? What, what was that? What was that move you were doing? You kept stealing my rulings. Oh yeah, if yeah. you have, say he ruled right here. If you move your pawn with the crown, next to say anthony's by himself with no reinforcements no surf nothing i could ba basically unseat him <laughs> for free by yeah. basically putting my pawn there yeah and then i could just knock him off and put mine there he did that to me so many times yeah i didn't realize oh yeah you get zero points for that really? and i didn't know you could do that it was too late in the game <laughs> by the time um I realized that I could see now why you would pull, we never pulled our pawns off. You can pull your pawns off the board. Um, there's a card, the card that's called Migrate, which allows you to pay um, food to, you pay food, right? What? To migrate, to put another pawn on there. 
Yes, you pay a food to place another pawn. You can also use the migrate card to take a pawn off. So I could see how if you changed your mind of which guild you want to represent, you can take your pawn off and put it back on the board next time. But you do have to remove your influence token from that guild if you stop representing it. That makes me realize I need, wait, I need to, I'm not done with my cards. It's so hard. <laughs> yeah, because you know how to play now, so. Oh, wow. 11 cards is a lot to choose from to when you only get four moves. And they this game does have like uh, four miniature expansions. It, does, it doesn't add more. It's just a lot more. It adds cards and, and creatures and just uh, basic things. It doesn't add like, you know, just another whole place that you're maneuvering. So. And the sulfurs, you can have up to three. I know he told you that, but um, you can place them in your barrel immediately upon acquiring them. So we both drew a sulfur. Those come in handy when you're running low on food because they feed, they nourish your pond for two turns. So if you harvest and get some, we pretty much tried to always keep that full because it, it makes a big difference. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right. Long right. live the king. Yeah, let's long live the king. <laughs> okay, so I'm going first. So I'm going to play my migrate card. So I pay a food. So I put it in the bag. And I get to choose another guild to represent. And I'm going to represent the farm. And I have to put it in the same spot my pawn is located now because I don't have the um, alchemist. He doesn't have to follow that rule. I think he could put his on any starting space. My turn? Mm -hmm. No, I just have to put it next to mine. Um, Alchemist, this card allows you to... Let's you migrate to starting locations because you have the oh, Alchemist in yeah, a starting location. Because you had the Alchemist last time. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't... It has to be one of the ones in peak. Yeah. Did you pay your food? Okay. And we take turns taking turns, basically. Okay, so now I'm going to play my influence card. And what that means is I can place as many influence as I want um, as long as I have a pawn representing that. But now, actually... I should have moved first, but I, I did not. So I'm going to play my one influence <laughs> there because I didn't play play a move card. I could have moved my I'll pawn. Like, to, you move. I don't. I didn't even pick that card. Oh. So, <laughs> so I kind of set myself back, but he won't be able to mess with me because I have a three um, defense basically. Okay, so. My turn. Oh, I need to put my influence on my on the guild master for the farm. Mm -hmm. Did you oh. put yours for the knight? Can't see. Okay. Yeah, as soon as you place your pawn, if you have an influence token, you need to put it there. Okay, so I'm putting influence. So that allows me to put it on. Let's see. Here and here. So he rules those two. He rules those two, the farm and the town. That's what those, did we tell them what those are? There's outposts, towns, and farms. Um, and they all do different things or yeah. get you different things. Farms, when you harvest, you pretty much get one extra per farm. So. And the outposts, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, so. Now I'm going to harvest. So, and I do have a farm. So, cause you have to have a farm to be able to harvest. And I rule that farm. Um, so basically you pull five random resources out of the bag. And if, if I had one of these what are these called? These little, I forgot what these little tokens are called. 
says it on here. What's that? What are these? Oh, beads. Beads. These beads. Mug beads. If you, what? They're Mug from, beads? Yeah. If you have the beads, um, you can actually harvest additional resources. But you lose it and have to flip it over if you take any back. So I have five here that goes by my farm. And Anthony, he could land on that spot and take one of the resources. And on this card, since I represent the farm guild, I can actually choose which ones I want to take back. Normally it's random. So I have, there's five resources total on there. So one can be taken back. So I'm okay. going to choose to food. Two. Or one that beads. Actually, I'm going to choose the salt peter because those come in handy. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to put the one of the beads because oh, that's what yeah. spills over. You remember? Yeah. And I should put more. Uh, more will spill over, but um, okay. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna harvest. And when you harvest, you get one point. Do you? That's why we weren't doing that. Yeah. It has a point thing. Are you sure? Yeah, that's a point. We weren't doing that last time. Mm -hmm. So we both have one point? Yeah. Yeah, some of the cards you notice has a point, and so when you use it, it gives you a point. Oh. So I'm harvesting. Yeah, there's several cards that it's have. It's easy to miss things in this game. <laughs> so much that you can do. Okay. So I put five, so I get to get one. Random. Oh, yeah. He doesn't represent the farm, so he has to pick it at random. Ah, not the one I wanted, one mm -hmm. the yellow, but it. Salt Peter's good. I'll take what I could get. Okay, so I don't have, no. So okay, so I want to do a guild. Um, oh, yeah, I see what, about the points, because this has a, a question mark because mm -hmm. the points are depending on what you do for your guild action. So I can trade or I can push for my guild leader. Um, if I want to, the farm is my favorite. I really like the farm. So if I want to push, I can push five goods over to the merchant guild and fill up one to three columns. Um, if there was shillings here, I also get to collect those, divide them up with the journeyman or take them off. I'm the only person representing the guild. But if you, um, and you get points based on how many columns or rows you fill up. And so I can do that or I could trade by giving her, um, for every one food or one shilling, from my one food from my farm. Wait, no. For every one shilling or one food, I get two goods sent from my farm to the farmer guild. So I could basically take resources from there and put them in my guild because I can't collect those. It kind of keeps him from collecting those resources. So, but I don't get points for that. But I have to pay a food. From here, right? To do that? What? It says, re oh no, I get a food, sorry. Receive yeah. one shilling or one food for every two goods sent from your farm. Okay, so. Oh, you're trading? Yeah, so I'm going to send all these. And I get my choice of food, right? That's on here? Mm. Or is it random? I can't remember. You get, it's your choice. From, that's on there, right? Yeah. Or do I draw it from the bag? I thought you draw it from the bag. What card are you using? I'm doing the trade action for the Receive farm. Receive one shilling or one food for every two goods sent. But isn't, you draw it from the haversack, I think. And I think it's random, isn't it? Let me see the book really quick. I should remember this one. But are you just doing a trade? Yeah. You receive one chillin' on one food. The or, food is the food's green. 
Oh, is it food? Yeah. Oh, but you take it from the sack, I think, not there. Yeah. I mean, I just want to know where you take it from. Yeah, they're taken from supply or haversack. I wanted to make sure. I don't even think I took it from there. So I'm going to take a food. This will have been quicker. I wasn't, Sorry. I was uh, focused on my turn. So and I'm going to take a shilling. Can you also give me a shilling? Because I'm doing two, four, so I get two things. All right. Okay, so and she can only have 10 plus two, correct? Total. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she can have two more, and then the rest spills over. It's supposed to be random. What, that spills over? No, the the two that you put there. Oh, the one, oh yeah, the, the no, it doesn't have to be random. Okay. So here, and I have to put this here, but I don't get points for that. And then if it can't spill over, it goes into the haversack, correct? Mm -hmm. Actually, she can have 12, right? Yeah. I forget what it was in. I think it was a white one. Okay, sorry. I am uh, still kind of learning this game a little bit. All right, my turn? Yes. Okay, so I'm doing a tax because I own the town. So I could get one chillin'. And these chillings are good because they give you points at the end of the game. And then I can also, because I own the uh, the nine. I get two chillings. Oh, two chillings. Chill okay. You just call them chillings. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chillings. It's shillings. Chillings. It's just shillings. <laughs> hey. That's so funny. He calls them chillings. He's chilling like a villain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then because I, I'm a, I have a nine. You also get one influence marker. Oh, nice. So, I get an influence We weren't mark. doing that last so, time, were we? No, what happened night. That's why we weren't doing it. So, yeah, so pretty much I got two. And I got my influence marker. Wow, that's a good, uh, getting those influence markers, that's a big. Yeah, they, these two that's big. are probably the biggest. These two are probably the but this roll, for some reason, I think is the best. Okay, so we used all our actions. That was the first phase. Now we, um, and it's on the card here. Then we nourish our palms. So you either have to give them food from your resources, or you can use your um, sulfur from your wine barrel. I'm just going to feed them food. So you put the two food in the sack. And he's actually using the sulf um, sulfur for two turns on his. Then we roll the progress die and we take the top tile. I can't see those. Also oh. the one that represents this the same as this. So we take that tile and remove it from the game. Oh, you know what we forgot to do too at the beginning? Oh, we forgot to add the resources. Yeah, for each. Uh, north, it starts with north. Um, so for each epoch. You no, do... no, this is the beginning of the game. You're supposed to put on the... Um, I thought it was north. No, on the... On the... I call it the, the ones that, with the circles. When do you do north? North is... Uh, north. First epoch. Oh, it is north. Yeah, it's so hard to remember everything. So all the ones that have north, northeast, northwest, um, get a random food or resource put on them for us to be able to go through and collect. Would there have been one there? And there's none on the, the no. south. No, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So then I rolled the progress die. Then we look and see by this chart, we haven't reached the next epoch. So, um, there's no scoring until, unless you're getting scoring as you go, but there's no end of round scoring until you go to the next epoch. So now he gets the first player token and the dice, and we choose our cards. So.
Yeah, I'm playing very differently this game than last game now that I'm, I know more. <laughs> you kind of need to play this game like probably two to three times before you really, really have it down, I would think. Now, the silver, I'm just going to call it silver, <laughs> pretty much gives you points for three for, so then just uh, for every three, you get one point. I don't remember. Yep. For every three, you get one VP at the end of the game. Okay. All right, I'm done. Now, when your influence markers pretty much uh, are depleted, you're going to have to buy it from the night. Okay. I think I do want to use my saltpeter to do an extra card. Alright, so uh, my turn. Um, yes. All right. I am going to move. So I'll be moving. Uh, so he can move two because he has two pawns. He can move two spaces, either one dies two or each one one. You can, you can divide them up. Okay, your turn. Okay. I'm going to migrate. So I pay my food. And now that I know about that handy dandy knight, the knight there. How does that work now? We both have a pawn for, what does it represent? It's the... Wait, yours is the priest. Oh, sorry, I want the knight. So, what's his... It's the farms. Is that what that is? What? Right there. Is that farms? Just like the farm. Mm -hmm. So then it goes to who has the most influence. So I have one farm and one pawn. You have one farm and one pawn. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? We're tied. Do I? Who would be Guildmaster? Me, because I was approaching first right. until you unseat me. So I'm the journeyman. I, as soon as if I get another farm that I rule, I will unseat him and we'll switch places. Okay, my turn. Okay, so Anthony's migrating. I have anywhere, can I? Any, anywhere you are on your, your rule. Or starting, or... yep. So now that puts me at. What is her symbol? What is it? Towns? Um, yeah. Yep. So You have a town and a pond, so I think you... Unseat you. Yeah, so we switch places. So Anthony has more... Influ the influence is always changing based on... you got to constantly check that. So now he is a guild master on three, and I'm only a guild master on one. That's not going to work for me because that's too many points <laughs> at the next epoch. I have to um, change this situation. <laughs> okay, so... Um, yeah, this is a very, very competitive game. So the I'm going to move. So I get three moves for three pawns. And now that I know that, I need to do a farm and a town. So I'm going to move so here. One. Put that sulfur in my wine barrel. And 
So that makes me, we're tied, correct? Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to move this. Uh, we're not tied because you're still, oh yeah, we're tied right now, but you need to put oh, an I influence don't, yeah, marker. Yeah, when I put my influence marker, we'll be tied, sorry. I'm thinking ahead like three moves. And then the other one is the farms. Oh, in this game, you definitely think, need to think ahead many moves. Arm within reach. No, there isn't. <laughs> wow, look at all the ones chosen. Okay, so. You might have to upgrade a farm. Um, or upgrade into a farm. So I still have two more moves. I guess I will. I'm going to do this outpost to we'll move over here. Wait, actually, is there any resources I can get? No. Could stop there and take that resource. I'm going to do that. Oh, I need to pay this to the bag since I did my five Want turns. Turn? Yes, I think so. This rate, we might, this <laughs> might be a five hour game. Okay. It gets faster though. It's um, it's weird. We just did a full play playthrough yesterday, but it's like I forgot everything that I learned. So I've I'm happy to refresh my memory. Yeah, putting this here. My brain was hurting so bad. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the influence. So that's um. What is this again? This? Mm -hmm. It says right here. I'll tell you. Yeah, these cards are amazing. Monk. Actually, it's not monk. Merchant. Merchant. Hey, one shell. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you unseat. I thought it was the knight. It's the merchant. No, the knight does something else. Oh, the knight gets yeah. you the influence. Yeah. And you can choose it from here, and if you don't have any here, you get it from the knight. Okay, so I'm going to put my influence here, and I'm going to put a, you have to put them where your pawns are, correct? Yep. I'm going to put a surf there. So that gives me one. Doesn't that give me one influence? Yep. So one, two, Okay, just say three. you. Do I have it? Yeah. So I unseat you there. And then on the farms, you don't see me. Or towns. See the farms. This was the town. This is the farm. Okay, so we're still tied? Yep. I just, oh, we're tied. Okay, got it. Actually, no, I got two farms. You got one. Okay. So my turn? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get my two. I almost need a glass of wine. <laughs> Play this game. <laughs> I think we're trying to speed it up, not. <laughs> okay, so I get to get one, another one of my influence markers. Oh, from here. All right. Oh, I need to remember the tax. So. Okay, so I'm doing a guild action. So. I can push, or I can pull on that one. So the knight, I pull. Invent, invent one vessel or crud barrel from Alchemist Guild to score. Oh, so you can do that from there as well? Mm-hmm. Or I could just buy that. Actually, I'm going to trade... I'm the alchemist. I'm going to buy this ship, and it's three shillings, right? Yep. So okay. you get, well, Anthony gets, that's the thing when you're guild master. I'm paying three shillings to buy this ship, airship. So oh. the guild master gets one. You get one. I'm not the journeyman. Here, I'm doing this one. Oh, the yeah. journeyman would get one, but there is no journeyman. And then the opposite of the board, the charity, 
gets one. And so this one would just go into um, basically the supply. Okay, it's her turn because you have a fifth card. Okay, so I'm going to repeat one of my actions. I think I'm going to... Move three. Oh, yeah, you have the airship. Yeah. You, you can use. But I, that's not. Oh, uh, you already moved once. It doesn't. No, I haven't moved. No, previously. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing the move so I can get the epic. Mm -hmm. Um, So, could I get here? Where, I can. From where? I have to take the road, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be one, two. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the food. And I have one more move. I think I'm going to move to this farm. Okay. And then I get to place my little token in the mountains there. Yep. And I did five moves, so I, that's why I took an extra move. I paid the salt, Peter. Yeah, okay. so you pretty much did the epic voyage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we roll. We got it. And we cannot remove that one, I don't think, right? Because we're not, it's the same one I rolled. So you uh, have to re roll. You can only remove the ones that are in the same epic or, or past epic. So we're, these, until we're in. Epic two, we cannot remove those tiles. Okay, then we we have to nourish yep. our. Um, so you would take that one off, right? Yep. I'm going to nourish two with the sulfur and pay food for the third one. All right. And then nourish roll die. Well, we did that. And the we're not. We don't advance until there's yeah. four of the epic two tiles on top of of four any four piles. All right. Okay, so um, now we choose our cards. How much does it cost to invent? Um, oh, it's it's not money. It's uh, yeah. it's your push action. Yeah. Right? Or no? Wait, I'm in the wrong one. Invent one to three vessels. You fill night rose roses directed for the barrels, or it's um, you have to have food. And two brown to do this ship. Airship, it's one of each. And the uh, submarine, it's two iron and one food. So the airship? It's one, one of each. Oh, good. There's plenty. So you would get four points for doing that, right? Yep. You can only do one thing because all of them require the food. Yeah. Until this one pushes over some. Is that what you're going to do? Oh, you're not actually playing yet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot you were still picking your cards and I get to go first. I feel like a dingbat on this game. And I know I look like a dingbat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. All right. 
If I did yard work today, I'm gonna use that. I have heat exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, she's gotta do the yard work as some mm -hmm. disabled veteran. It was so hot today in humans. It's like, ugh. I waited as late as I could to do it, but it's just, it doesn't matter. It's still just hot. So, but he made me a smoothie. It was so good. Kind of gave me energy. So I'm, I'm blaming heat exhaustion for, for my ding battingness. I used to do the yard work, but I had spinal surgery three years ago. Yeah, he couldn't do all that. No. Okay, so make sure I, make sure I'm, I think I've picked the correct cards right. that I want. Here first. All right, so first I remembered I'm gonna do the tax. Yeah, so tax awesome. it's on every town you have, right? That you rule? You get um what about is what, it's just what one if extra you're a surf? You get two if you rule a town, click two shillings. Okay, so I get an influence marker and two yeah. shillings, yeah. please. Oh, you only have one town? It's just if you have a town, yeah. really a town. You, you don't get, get it for each one, do you? Yeah, you get one extra for each town. Oh, okay. Yeah, I only have one town. So. But I'm a surf. Does that matter? No. You have to rule it. Okay, so can you give me my two shillings? Oh. Yeah, these influence markers are, to me, the most important thing to have. That and food in the game because... You're kind of stuck if you can't um, influence and put down serfs and additional um, rules. Okay, so that's my turn on that. Yeah, I took over the alchemist because last game she wouldn't build the ships or anything. So what is? Okay, never mind. Huh? What? Oh yeah, I was mean on that. I didn't build, but you could have done it, weren't you? Over the night? No. Oh well, you could have changed. Yeah. yeah we need to Indian. keep track of. Nothing's changed, okay, so right? That we've not added any influence. Okay, so I'm doing the guild action. Okay. So I'm building that. So you're yeah. purchasing it? Or, oh, you're building it. Yeah. So you're airship. doing the airship? Yeah. So those go. Do they go over there? Or no. they go. They go in here. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, they would have nowhere to go there. It's mm -hmm. barrels for that, right? Yep. So, you gotta push it back though. Let's... And so he built an airship. He doesn't get it. It goes into the store that can be purchased later. Yep, and I get it. How many points? Four? Yes. So if he built, he gets four points for building one vessel, five for two, six for three vessels. And there's another action. This blew our mind. Like it was so hard. The barrel thing. Oh, oh we read that 10 times over in the book and we finally, it finally registered. They don't really explain it. They show you an example, but they don't explain the example very well. So they want, they expect you to kind of know the symbols just kind of um, instinctively know, but it took a while. We almost gave up, and then I'm like, let's read it one more time. <laughs> and then we figured out the barrel thing. So we'll be able, when we do it, we will be able to explain it to you, and it's actually pretty cool once you figured out how it works. Okay, so is it my turn? My points. Oh. Definitely one of my points since mm -hmm. we, uh, she won by two points last game. Okay, so I'm going to do my influence. So definitely going to rule that, and I'm going to place a surf. Okay, so did that help me by getting the farm? You already rule. Okay, so I need to add more influence on a tail, right, for him? What's that? On a town? Yeah. I can't do that right now. So I'm going to... Pretty much these, this shows you what the influence is. Get one influence for the Pong. You get three influence for Feudum. Actually, no, you get for Pong. It pretty much right here is where it tells you the influence points. 
So I'm going to put a surf there to protect that farm. All right. And you can only put two of the same color um, influence on one land. There can be same three. Color. There can be three influence tokens, but Just only two. two of your own. Yeah. Yeah. So he could also be a surf there if he wanted. Okay, I'm gonna put um, harvest. Yeah, so you get one point. Okay. That would have changed the game a lot if we were doing that one point last time. You're right. I probably will I harvest won. every turn almost. You realize that. Mm -hmm. I, I harvest it almost every turn. Okay, so let's see. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight, so I get three. Random. Oh yeah. You don't have to pay. The only way he gets to choose again is if he represents, if he oh. represents the farm in some way by having the pig either as a feudum or on his palm. Okay, and I don't have her, so. Oh, I get actually one, do I have another farm? Yeah, I get one extra one. Mm-hmm. So. One oh, eight. yeah, one extra in here. Okay. okay. But that would have put it at nine. Does that make you get more? Uh, no, three. Okay. Still. Okay. So now I'm going to do a guild action. I need more. Kind of a waste to pay three shillings for two influence, but I do get one back. So I'm only paying two. So Anthony gets a shilling. I get a shilling. This goes into the farmer's purse. And basically I purchase two influence tokens from the night by doing the trade action because I'm out of influence tokens. Really? Look how many I have on the board. Mm. I have serfs. Ah, you do have a lot of serfs. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to move. Okay. I'm going to move. Right. Oh. So then, no move. Oh, sorry. Or do I? You have three moves. How many moves did you do? One. No, you get two moves, and then if one, you have... one for each pawn, you have three. You have three moves. Oh yeah. And if you've got that, the monk, you can move an additional one, right? I think it's just two moves and then you get one for the... No, it's one for each pawn. In one space times number of pawns. Okay, yeah, you're right. And then if you have the... Monk, you get one additional. Yeah. Which okay. neither of us have him. So I can only move right here. Okay. Sure. So I'm going to move. So I don't know if you noticed, I put my ship down. So I can travel anywhere that these little birds are. If I abandon it, anyone can use that ship. It stays on the board for good now. But if I ever leave and decide to take a road or something different type of transportation, I have to leave it where I, my last spot I used it and it's there for the taking. So I have three moves. And I think I'm going to travel up here and grab that sulfur. Okay, my turn. Yep. I'm placing. So he's playing his influence. Uh, let's see, right here, one, one here two, and here, three. So now we, oh, that's it, right? You're not yep. the cards. 
We nourish our ponds. So I have these two that have the sulfur, so they don't need anything. Sulfur, sulfur. I'm gonna put sulfur on this one. And I'm putting one. Okay. All right. Roll the die. This one. Ew, so no, need one more. One more. Okay. So Yeah, once we get to the second epoch, it starts going faster. And then the third one, all the way to the end, it's quick. Uh, first player. Okay. Can you uh, just give it to me? No. Or no? You Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're not in the, there's no scoring because we're not in the next epoch. I'm going to pay a salt heater to do five cards this time. Yeah, good okay, idea. Me too. Oh, I didn't take... Did I take something there? When I'm... Oh, wait. That was another turn. Never mind. I'm... My brain is not cooperating with me today. Misfiring? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I need the saltpeter. Okay. Long live the king. Long live the king. Okay, so. Anthony goes first. Okay, so I am going to well tax the people. So see I get two right away. And I get one for each town I own or rule one, two. So I get two more. Two shillings. Yep. Um, I forgot how many are these? I wonder if those are 10. I can't remember. And I then, thought they were five, but I don't remember. And I get one of my influence markers. Right here. Five. Okay, yeah, I need to exchange them. I'm so pleased. Are you done? Yep. Evilness. I'm taxing. Five. Taking this guy, your lone guy. Bye-bye. I'm taking over this. Are you watching? Mm -hmm. You're right here by yourself, so I can do that, right? What? I have my knight. You don't kick me off. I oh, you become the surf. Okay. Then I also get an influence token and two shillings, please. Oh, and it's for each one. How did you kick me off with him? The knight. You get influence. You didn't kick me, you don't kick me off. That's the wrong card. Oh, darn it. Which card is that? That's the, um, this one, the Conqueror. You used the second one. Oh, and it's with the crown. Never mind. I'm like, okay, but I still get my influence token and two shillings, please. Okay. And I get. For each additional, do I have any additional ones? No. You didn't give me my shillings. Oh. You're trying to like rip me off of my shillings. I'm trying to, <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what you were. Uh... Uh, I was, uh, I was thinking because of the axe. For some reason in my head, the axe means you're like axing you. Okay. But I'm buying that. Um... 
that plane, that airship. Okay. So you get one back. Oh yeah. And then one goes into the charity. All right. Your turn. Okay. Well, I thought I was going to be able to be evil. Sad. <laughs> evil backfire. <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing a guild action, and... Maybe you shouldn't try to be evil. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to be evil today. <laughs> My brain's barely cooperating. Okay, so, um... That looks full. I can't do anything there. This one... Let me try and do push or pull. I'm, I might. This one is the place of one, three king sails. I'm going to do that. Okay. So one to three different colors. Replace them with one to three king seals. I'm going to do three different colors. Mm. Get three king seals. Oops. I can only do two. So I'll do two. I'll do... Blue and green. What, are you pushing these out? Yeah. Blue and green? Yeah, red and green doesn't, or blue and, blue and, blue and something. All right. And then, uh, that puts two seals there. So I score five because I filled two columns. Five, and then... I think that's all that happens on that. Yep. Enter? Yes. Okay. I am moving. One. He's using his airship. Two. She. Three. Uh, three. Okay. Okay, you sure? Yep. So I'm going to harvest. Have we added any more influence that would affect anything? No. Okay. So. I'm harvesting, so I pull, how many farms do I roll? Um, One, two, right? Yep, yeah, so you get. So I get six. Yeah. Oh, here, I gotta do one random back. Okay, and putting it on this farm. And I get, to, there's six of them, so I get to take one back. I'm gonna take the food. Why don't you take the sulfur? Oh yeah, that's like smart. Why are you helping me? Well, I was just I know <laughs> your brain ain't working. And today. I get a one point. Correct? I do everything? Yeah. It's starting to sink in. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to do the explore. So that means he's drawing two King's Rick cards, yep. right? Yep. And he's keeping one. And I actually get to keep, I got another one. For what? For an outpost? I have three outposts. I have one. Actually, I actually have two. Two. So you only get one though, right? Yeah. Okay, so he gets to keep one. Yep. He could pay a wood, right, or is that iron? Iron. And get two more and keep an additional one. But he drew three and he's keeping one. You're not paying the iron? Mm-mm. And basically those are like bonus cards. And they're in the back of the Rule book, what they actually do. They're kind do. of hard to understand what they do, though. They're not really just, 
explain yeah, thoroughly. I'm gonna get me a drink of water. I'm gonna do it. Okay, turn in two, three minutes. Turn in wine and food. How would you interpret this? <laughs> turn in food, 3S. Turn in wood and food, 7S. Oh. What are they mentioned? What are they talking about 3S and 7S? You're looking at the wrong card, 9 and 13. Oh. Turn in iron, wood, and food. Turn in sulfur, iron. Oh, 3S. So is that points? Oh, is that shillings? Shillings. <laughs> shillings? Yeah, silver. <laughs> it's silver. <laughs> Okay, so so he can basically, and that's a one-time use, I assume. Yeah, it's one time. It'll it'll stay um, play once a time, whereas um, these are end score, so play it game end. So he can trade. Oh, okay. The ones that have the little square they're around them are the ones required. To get so if he turns in three resources, he can get nine shillings. If he turns in all four, he'll get thirteen shillings. If he if that's the one he decides to keep. <sighs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, and then the two he didn't want go in the discard pile. So all right. My turn? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to move. You really like burst my bubble on the <laughs> not getting to take you over. <laughs> I was so excited. But now I know. Okay, so. I'm going to go here for three and take the silver. Okay, so my last turn, doing the repeat. Okay. And I'm going to do the move. He's repeating his move. Right here. Um, here and here. Yeah. And so that allows me to place my marker. Okay. I'm going to repeat one of my cards. I think I'm going to repeat the tax. So I get two more shillings and an influence token. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. So now we nourish. Um, yep, nourish our palms. So I just take this guy off. He's nourished. Uh, and then nourish, nourish. I'm going to put these two sulfur on to nourish those for two rounds. Were, were these done? Mine? Were they already on there? Yeah. Yes. That's Well, that's this turn. They're mm. the la this is the last turn it's nourishing. Mm. So you only need to pay for one. Yeah, I did pay. Okay. Okay, so... Um, ooh. Uh-oh, we're in the second epoch. Yep. Because according to this chart, the second epoch starts when there's four um, of the dark maroon or two, two epoch. So do we do the scoring right now? Um, I think we... I believe we score as soon as we hit the epoch. So... Yeah, if triggered, yeah, advance epoch marker. So we advance it to two yep. and score if triggered. So we score our guilds, landscapes, and active regions. So the guilds, for each guild master, you get five points. So I have 10 and I'm a journeyman. That's three, so that's 13 for my guilds. And what I'm doing, I'm just putting um, 
resources on all the south because that's the second epoch. Okay. And then regions. You'll have to do the regions. I don't really understand Oops. fully the regions. Can't them. But I'll give you your points for your guild. So you have eight. So you're also at 13. Oh, the regions. So you're one behind me. Well, right now we're limit. We only have. Let's see. You're one region. Um, two regions. Three regions. So you have three regions right here. Where's the active regions? You get five points. It's the third okay. one. Okay. I have one. Two. That's it. Because you have to be the ruler. Okay. So I only get three points. Okay. Then we don't do disloyalty because no one has a feudum. Once feudums come into, once we advance a town to a feudum, then you have to do this king's, uh, what's it called? I forget. Where you have to conquer. Rule books there. Um, King's, I want to say King's Favor, but I can't remember what it's called. It's called Military Service Track. Okay. So you have to conquer somebody and you get to put one of your little tokens there. And each epoch you have to um, move further up that Military Service pack, Track or you lose points. He already replenished the map, and now we replenish the guilds on Epoch 3. Actually, Epoch 3, so we don't do that yet. Okay, so now we... I'm the first player, and we're um, doing our actions. I'm paying a salt. I think I will too. I... All right. All right, okay. All right. long live the king. Okay. Okay, here's uh, my saltpeter for my fifth card. Okay. Okay, you're first. Okay, I am going to... Now, once we hit this uh, third epoch, it's a quick game. <laughs> It starts out slow, but it get, it gets fast as time progresses. It's only one I can move to, right? Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doing his influence. Your turn. That's it. Mm -hmm. Darn it, I was going to put my influence there. Sneaky snake. So I am going to put a surf. I'm going to put a surf there. 
and I'm not going to think about putting another surf there, but. Did that change anything no. by you taking that over? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Because I have one, two influence. How many do you have? I have, I'm the ruler of it. Yeah, but I'm a ruler with a surf. You're just a ruler. I have one, two. You have one. They're the same influence. Surf's the same. Mm. So you don't unseat me. Um, so I am going to put that there. Okay. Doing my tax. So I get two plus one for each one. So I get two more. Can I unseat you by doing that? Let's see. One, two. Is that one? Yeah. One, two, three. How many do you have? One, two, two three. I have four. One, two, three, four. What do you mean four? One, two, three, four farms influence. Ah. And you have three farms influence. Yeah. So I unseated you. Yes. Okay. It's my turn still? Yeah. Oh. oh, I collected already. This. Yes. So. Did you get your influence? Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Three, four, five. Turn these in. Dang. Look at you, money bags. Get my one influence. I will say we're doing a lot better this game. More strategy and more placing of influence. But it also helps that we're getting so many get your turn. from the tax card. Okay, then I'm going to harvest. So I have a little two farms so it gets me six. Put one back. I'm gonna put it here. There's three, six, nine, eleven. There can only be ten. Since I have the pig, I think I can choose, right? Which one comes off? And I get to take four of my choice. So I'm gonna take two sulfur. And the barrel. I'm gonna take a saltpeter and a wood. My turn. I wanna get a point for that. I need a point for that. Okay, so I'm picking five. Can you roll another farm? Oh, actually, yes, six. Yep. I think you have to take some off. Yeah, I do. Randomly. So, right there. That can be ten, right? Yep. So, four, five. Five, so three needs to be taken out. Okay. Okay, and then I get, because there's ten, I get four. Oh, where did I get? Not right there. <laughs> I'm going to do a, didn't I move twice last time? Did I repeat my move? Yeah, you didn't move. I thought I repeated my move. I must have repeated something different. Oh, I did, because you like burst my bubble. I was going to repeat that tax. I repeated the tax card, didn't yeah. I? 
Okay, so I'm doing a guild action. And can't do that one. I think I'm going to buy a ship. So you get one. The church's cop coffer gets one, and then the. Oh, so the ship is the bubbles, right? Yep. Okay. No, the ship is the waves. Oh, the waves. Okay. Yeah, the bubbles is the sun. See, my opinion, there's no need to have two water vessels. I think that's redundant. <laughs> Because for the most part, they kind of go the same areas. Yeah. I just noticed they can fly here, too. Did you yeah. notice that? Yeah. The, well, the submarine could go through here, but the ship is the only one that could go through here. So the ship goes more. Yeah. Okay. So, my turn? Yes. And move action. So, one. Wait. Oh, it's right here. One. Two, three, right? So it goes. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you taking that sulfur? Oh, of course. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move again. So I get to move my little epic thing one. And so I could put this guy on the ship, right? Right here? Yeah. And go one. Would this be the second one? No, it's a bridge. Where would where would be the second and third? Well here would be one. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it would be here. Okay. And then there? I don't know. I don't know if you have to stop but by each town. Well, I have three moves. So one... That's a road. Oh, though. no, but there's a... So two, three, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's the little... Uh, Houses, I think is the, what it indicates okay. the stop point. Okay, so I'm doing move, repeat move. So one, two, three. And that pushes me as well. Oh, you move, you need to grab two. two oh, two yeah, I get two of these rip things. Yeah, I need, can you give me the next two? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know what this means. It has an E. Oh. Okay, so obviously it's anything on the east. Well, don't show me because these are N score on stuff. Yeah. Sorry. I need to look at that after. All right. Okay. I think I understand it. Oh, that's the monster. You have to defeat it. Oh. To get the seven points. Turn game. Okay. So. That was your, your last turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we nourish our pawns. I take sulfur off of that one. Put the sulfur on these. Oh, actually, take it off of that one. Okay. Yeah, roll. And. That one. 
It's this one. Mm-hmm. He gets the first player marker. We uh, do not score because we haven't moved to another epoch. And now we pick our cards. Okay, I'm doing the five moves. Oh yeah, I think I will. So hard to only choose so few cards. I know. <laughs> Eleven cards, but some of the hardest decision making. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I think I'm good. You're good? I think so. Okay, I'm first, so playing my did you pay your salt Peter? Oh yeah. So I am this taxon. Okay. Get my two plus one, two. Is it for the number of towns you rule? Yeah. How many do you rule? Three? Well, the first one's the initial one. Right. Which actually, no, so I only get one. So I get three. Okay. And your influence. I guess I forgot you uh, dethroned one mine. And your influence too. Yeah. Okay. See if you're on your toes. Conquer. Mm -hmm. You don't have the defend. Yes. My evilness. So I'm able to dethrone him here. And I'm using the conquer card because I have my night palm right beside his lone wolf there, and he is downgraded to the surf. So that was fun. So that gives That's me not how that works. farm. Yeah, it is. You're doing the bottom one? Yeah. How does it know how it works? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was... Uh... No, it's the night palm. I move you to the surf okay, yeah. and I roll that and it's a farm so that benefits me. Alright. Okay. I thought for sure you would be picking your defense cards. My turn. Let's see. Let me see something. Oh yeah, you realize when you starve the people, you get a... Uh... Oh yeah, I get to put that on there. That's called starving the people. So I'm on the military track. Okay, so I am doing this. And so I am putting this on this and this. Okay, your turn. Okay. 
I play Influence. Okay, so I'm going to tax. How many towns do I believe? One. One. You're going to get two. So I'm going to get an Influence marker. My turn? Yep. Okay, I'm going to harvest. So. How many farms do you have now? One? Uh -huh. I just took one. Uh, I think you only have one, so you get five. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have a total of, let's see, four, five. So I need to get red one. And so I get ten, I have ten, so I get four. Okay, so, and I get one point. Okay. Your turn. I'm going to influence, so I'm going to protect that one that I just took over. All right. And let's see. What does this do again? I don't have that guy right. Oh, I don't have him, so it doesn't matter. I used him a lot last game. Okay, so I'm going to conquer or starve the people. Where? And I'm going to starve it right here. You can't. I just protected it. How? It's only if it's alone. I have a surf there. Oh, yeah. And you don't have your crown there anyway. You have to have your crown. Oh. <laughs> you got to have the crown actually on the... Oh, actually, I'm already What are you doing? Uh, right here. I should Your know that's you. up here. You can't do it. Oh. So I'll just, uh, I'll do the regular conquer. Where? Oh. Let me see how we can do this. You're not, there's nowhere you can conquer me but my surf. Mm-hmm. I know. That's what I'm seeing if I could do I can remove your surf. Okay. We never conquered last time. Our regular conquer card. I tried once. I failed. So that's what conquer Okay, so when attack and pawn player ends up. If attack is also score two VP. So I don't know if you can attack. Can you attack a surf? It doesn't really say. If one or more of your pawns occupies the same location, you may attempt to conquer or remove it from play. Your opponent's pawn, no, it's a pawn or feudum. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you're attacking my pawn, not the... Um, so I could attack this though. Your pawn's not there. Your pawn has to be with my, beside my pawn. Oh, so I pretty much wasted a turn. Yeah. All right. And I saw Peter. Yeah. Well, I did that last time. Okay, so I'm going to. One, two, right? I was yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two. What? Right here? Mm -hmm. One, two, yeah. No, that doesn't go there. There's no bubbles. Oh, actually, you're right here? Yeah, so it'd be... One, two, three. There's no bubbles there going to that. You have to oh, fly you're there. a ship. Yeah, so it'd be here, right? One, two. One, two. Two, yeah. Okay. So I'm moving, that's two, and then I can move one more. Like 
there. Take that salt here. That's right. Yep. Repeating the tax collector. And so, let's see, I get two, three. And I get a. All right, and put my move card down. Did you get your implants? Oh, and my implants. Okay, so I'm going to harvest. How many farms do I have now? One, two. We have two, right? Mm -hmm. Three. Yep. So that means I get seven. Okay, and I'm gonna put it here, which means I need to take some away. Mm -hmm. Take those three away. And then I get to take back four of them. So I'm gonna do two saltpeters. Wood and a okay. I want to get one point. Okay. That's it. So that's now we nourish our palms. So I need to put the two. Oh, didn't you just add this one? Last time. So you take that one off. Yeah. And I put the two more on those two. Oh, okay. Pick my two. Two, right? Yeah. So. Okay. And then we don't score because um we didn't go to the third epoch. Okay. All right. So ooh, it's getting more uh it's getting warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mm, kind of stuck in a sense that Actually, no. I see what I can do. I'm going to use a saltpeter for sure. It's like so much um, thinking. It's like chess in a way. You have to think many moves ahead plus what you might do, plus remember what all the cards do. <laughs> I now know why my head hurt last time. Okay, so. You're a first player. I know, um, I've got to pick two more cards. Okay. Ooh, I almost forgot the most important card. Actually. So first I'm going to move, and I Tax. Oh, you have the pig now. Oh, you move. Oh, never mind. That's my. Never mind. <laughs> I had a brain dead moment for a second. Okay. <laughs> so um, I get three. So. And that get my influence. Look at you, money bags. 
Oh, your turn. See my funny bone. They were a rough night. <laughs> okay, so I am going to tax so I get influence and how many shillings? One. Two, so I get two shillings. Okay. My turn. Harvest. I get one point. Oh. So, ooh, pick exactly five. And there's four. See, four, five. So I get get rid of one. Ah, here. And I need to pick four. Okay. Ah, good. I need one of these. Is that your turn? Yeah. I'm going to repeat the tax. I get another influence and two shillings. In. So, go in here. And go in here. And it's your turn. Okay, my influence. There. And there. My turn. I'm going to improve. And. He's improving a farm to a town. I mean, I was improving farm into the town. Do you have the iron in your hand? <laughs> Let's see. Actually, yeah, you have to do a iron, that middle one there, to improve a farm into a town. Let's see if that's what I want to do. Yeah. So I'm cutting this into a town. So he takes the farm away, puts the town down, and puts his... Uh, Influence back on top. Yeah. Why are you putting that little iron oh. on top? Sorry. I think I'm rubbing off on him. And then he gets points yeah. based on what Epoch ran. One, two. It's not your four points. Yep. And I think I uh, unseated you. Let's see, two. Yep. Are you sure? Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Let me see. One, two, because I still have. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't see that one. Four. I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I have five. I can see you. One, two, three, four. Mm. Wasn't that fun? No. <laughs> And I just played that just in case you were trying to be uh, evil. <laughs> I did the defense, so. Good. Can I do anything other with it? No. What's that? That's if you block it. Oh, oh yeah, I get one of those. Okay, so now we you will. nourish. Yeah. So take this off. I'll put this one this on. off and put that one on. And I pay my two. Then we roll the dice. Ooh. Little corn dogs, what they look like. We get the first player. One oh. more of these, and it goes to the third epoch. Wait, 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 I didn't. When I upgrade, I didn't get. I didn't grab that. Oh yeah, he's supposed to grab the one in so, that region, so which I, is the little mountains, right? Yep. Or is it? Is it this one? Yep. So he gets to keep that, and that'll be a landscape. And that puts us at the 30 pox. Oh, and we're in the 30 pox. So show them the landscape you got. So this, I get attack arrows. Attack? Oh, yeah. The, we never did the archery. What do those do? We never even used those. One, one attack at, for each one. Because we never got that. Yeah. So he has to play one wood and yeah. have a surf on a location to be able to play that landscape. Okay. 
So, okay, so now... Um, that was a perfect timing. We advanced the epoch. <laughs> Unseated me. Okay. Not very gentlemanlike. <laughs> okay. So I have. I think we're tied again. Oh, my first player this time. Yeah, we're tied for thirteen. Was I first player or you first? Player? I just gave it to you. Okay. So thirteen points each for guilds. So. Was that two behind you or one? Two. Okay. Then regions. I think I have an extra yeah, region have, this we time. Yeah, landscapes. Regions. You have one. Let's see. You have two. Three. Four. Four. Five. Yeah, five. So nine points. Nine points. Okay, I have one here. Uh, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Yep. So seven. Ooh, neck and neck. And then in Epoch 3, we replenish the map and yep. the guilds. So the map is now on what? Uh, what are we looking for? Which one? What's that? What, what compass? Oh. For Epoch. Th oh, it's on there. East. East. And we replenish the guilds. I don't really, I don't know what they started with. Yeah, when you replenish the guilds, it's just what is started the uh, the starting game. What if there's more in them now? You don't take away, do you? What's that? You, you don't take away if there's more than what it normally starts with, right? Mm -mm. So anything with east. So it's with southeast. I don't think so. Right. I don't know. Actually, yeah. yeah you have why, to. That's why I thought it was part of it. Can't see. This is east. Did you put one there already? Probably? Yeah. Okay. That's everything. Okay. Okay. And then he needs to replenish the kills. Which, oh, yeah, these need to be replenished. Remember when you get when you do the night, you can always pull from here too. So, okay, and we're almost out of influence tokens. That, yeah, this needs to be replenished. I know that. Okay, I think so that's the only other one we've taken from. Needs to have three brown, three black, one green. You know, so. That's the, I'll keep it out there. And it needs to have one green. And now, that's, what about the yellow and white? Yeah, that's exactly how it started. Okay. Make sure. Yep, that's, all right. All right, keep you on it. So now we're in Epoch 3. And he, from here on out, it's quick. It's, you just go to two more and that's it. And the last one, once you get to the last one, Game over. And I have no idea who's going to win. It's kind of uh, hard to know. All right. Okay, so I need to strategize here.
All right, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. Oh, it's ready, but... Alright, I'm ready. Okay. I go first, I'm doing the tax. So I get two. Um, plus two more. Okay. Two extra towns. And then I get my influence. I'm doing the guild action. I'm buying those two influence tokens. So I get what you get when I get one. Oh yeah. Ah, and then one goes into purse, farm purse. Actually, we get two each. Oh, do we? Yeah, because I bought two. Ah. And then two goes into the farmer's purse over here. All right. Uh, your turn. Oh, I see what you're doing with all your money. Just realized. I've been hmm. spending mine. What, getting points? Yes. My, so, my turn? He might beat me this one. Okay, so we're back. Our uh, camera uh, battery died, so we're just uh, continuing. We were shocked how long we've been playing this game. Was we? Hmm. It was like an hour later than we thought, but that's actually a good thing, so that means we were having fun, because... When you're having fun, time flies, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm uh, harvesting. So one point. Oh, actually, I can do it now. So, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, grab. Three. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I got five. Uh, four, five. I gotta get rid of one. Okay. And I get four. Okay. No. So. All right. Your turn. Okay. I don't remember what I was doing. Moving. <laughs> um, I gotta remember what I was planning to do. I think I was gonna move here. No. This one here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, Paul. Um threw me off. Okay, so I can move to here, correct? Yeah. Okay. That's one move. I have two more. Oh, I think I was just, that's all I was doing, I believe. So I'm going to sit tight. All right. So I am going to upgrade to a farm. And I'm going to upgrade this one to a farm. Okay. Oh. So, so he gets that's a 
30, we're in 30 pucks, so he gets four points. This is the island. And he gets to choose the next tile in that region, and you get your four points. I think Anthony's going to beat me. Sure. So then I have influence. I'm going to put that one there. And protect that guy. My turn. Mm -hmm. right. Influence right here. Oh, I just put another town. Did I take you over? One, two, three. Ah, uh, I might take you over on the Four. farm. Two. One, two. Yeah, I took over on the farm. Three. I should know you have two. I have four on the towns. How many towns do you have? Two, four, five. Okay. Yep. What about the farms? Um, you're winning anyways. Okay. Did you go? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. What was I repeating? <laughs> um, I'm just going to repeat my move. So I can move it. I think that was my plan. Mm -hmm. It's almost, what time is it here? Almost midnight. Mm -hmm. It's almost midnight, so I'm uh, double tired. Okay, so I have three moves. Are these three different regions or two different regions? These are the same regions. This, this, and this are islands. They're different? Well, you already have one there. You already have that So region. if I moved here, would that be another region? No. Okay. All right. Wait, I didn't move. Oh. <laughs> um, One, two, three. Wait, I can't move that. Two, that one there, and here. I'll take that. So now we nourish our, this one goes away. This one goes away. Oh, that's yours. I was trying to steal. <laughs> and I paid two food for my other two pounds. There's a lot going on on this board. Okay, mm -hmm. and we don't, we did not move into another epoch. We just rolled a progress die. Mm -hmm. Little waves. I didn't advance us at all. Okay. Oh, okay. I get that. Sorry. Okay, so now I need to figure out what I'm doing. Okay, I'm ready when you are. I think you're fast. Okay, got that. Yeah, 
Okay. You're first. So I'm going to improve the this farm to town. Okay. And that cost oh, that actually cost You get five points. Iron. One, two, three, four, five. And I get to take the little palm trees. Okay. Which one did you take? Which one did you upgrade? Oh wait. Did I take the wrong one? Which one did you upgrade? This one. Oh, palm okay. trees. Oh. This one. Okay. Okay. My turn. Yeah. Tax. So I get let's see. One plus So I get three, and I get, all right. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that improve action. I'm gonna play this landscape. So that's three food, right? Mm -hmm. You can take it right away or you can leave it. I'm leaving it. All right. And um, I get, do I get points for that? Mm-hmm. You get points at the... I get two points. Oh, yeah. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. Move action. One. Yep. Um, two. Actually, what am I doing? Grab that one. Aren't you gonna put it on your little barrel? Oh yeah. Um three. You can't take that. You rule it. Oh okay, yeah. Um How do you get to this town? Oh, by water only. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a tough one. Actually, I'm going to stay there. All right. You would have to stay there because you collected. Yeah. You can move a different one. Yeah, okay. okay, so I'm on tax, so I get one influence and two shillings. Okay. Oh wait, do I get, how many towns do I have? One. Two, One. so I get an extra shilling. Yep. Yeah. My turn. Mm -hmm. Your turn. So I'm gonna influence I put this here. Does that do I overtake you? No. You sure? Yeah. You one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're talking about here. One, two, okay. three. Pressing down. So six, seven. That gives me seven towns influence. And I have two, four, eight. I have two, four, five. Six. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Okay. My turn. I'm, d I'm done with all my moves. Um. Oh, okay. So I get five. Five here. There's six on there. You can only put four. Yeah. You have to take one off at random out of your hand. Yeah, I know. Let me see if. Uh... Okay. 
Nice. And move in your point up for you. Oh, good. <laughs> Able to obtain one at least. Okay, and then we'll nourish. I need to pay three food. Okay. Oh, actually, I could put that right. Mm -hmm. Nourish now. Yeah. Let's forget. We roll the dice. Well, you have to roll again. Ah, we roll the palm trees. That one we can remove. Yeah. So, one more of the fours, and we'll move into yeah. epoch four. Okay. Okay. So no scoring. Can we move on to that next epoch? I'm going to do five cards this time. This one into a farm. So, this is the palm tree. So, I can't get it. And you get four points, right? Yeah. All right. So, I'm improving. Improve this farm to a town. And I get three puck three, right? So I get five points. Can you give me five points, please? Actually, I'm gonna, instead of that one, I'm doing this one. Mainly because I couldn't take a tile. So I would do this one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that moves us too. We're in Epoch 4. Yeah, we need to finish our turn though. Okay. I'm gonna starve the people. <laughs> You're just mean. Or not start, but uh, tax the people. So that's one. We get two. We get three. 
And that kid. All right. Your turn. Okay, so I'm going... I believe I'm repeating my improve. Let me make sure I can do that. Yeah. Oh, you have to pay. Oh, uh, yeah. You can't. So I'm not repeating that. So I'm going to tax. So I get one influence and how many shillings? One, Three. two, Four. Oh, you have four now? Mm -hmm. I have three towns. Yeah, you get two for extras. All right. Okay, so. I'm attacking this one. It's even. And now it's not. So that moves me to the surf. Mm -hmm. Does that change anything? That gets. Does that change anything on the. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I upgraded a farm to a town. One. Two, three. Do you count out? Four. So, one, two, three, three four. four. So we're tied. Okay. We're both you have thrown me today. We're both the night, so, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to Move. So. That actually helped me. I can get food. And that's one move. One. Got to go there, right? Move. All right. You're done? Yeah. I'm repeating my move. One. Did that one go there? Yeah, it's two. It does You have to go here first. One, right. two. Okay, so I want to go there. And. Did you move this already? Uh uh, it's going to. Do I get what do I get? Anything? Yeah. One or two? Two, then you pick one. Okay. I'm in, let's see, what's it going to be? East? I still need to move one more. Okay. Your turn. I'm going to harvest. Oh. Um, one. Okay, I'm 
think I'll have When you harvest, that. you have to do it random, so you have to. So I've, I've tried to see how many farms I have, but I have, so I do six. So okay, get it here. And so there's six, so I can take one and we take food. Actually, sulfur. And then okay, well, get one point. And this one here. What are you doing? Epoch. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's Epoch 4. We're at the east. No, we're west. Oh. Okay, so west. See any? No, here. Oh yeah, and there. Yeah, there's a lot. All right. Okay. So we do our scoring. Oh, we got to roll a progress die too. Yeah, nourish first. Okay, so I'm going to nourish right, this these. one with this. You lose that one. Or did you just put that in? I there? just now put it there. Okay. And I'm paying my two food. Okay. So. Is that game over? Wait, is it? Yeah. So we score twice. We score Epoch 4, and that made Epoch 5 happen. Yeah, so we have to score twice. So that's the end of game, but we need to score Epoch 4, Epoch 5, and then end game, right? Yep. Whew. Okay. I think Anthony's going to win. I'll be shocked if I win. Okay, so let's move this along. <laughs> Okay, so first guild status. Ooh, good thing I dethroned you. 5, 10, 15. 15. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Regions. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think you have all of them. Five. So, one, two, three. Let's see, wait. Do you have the islands? Yep, you have all of them. Do I? Yeah, this one, this one. Do you have this one? Yeah. No, this one. Oh, uh, yeah, you got that one. You got lucky, you got that one. Okay. So you get 11. Ooh, I may have a chance after all. And I have one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So I got nine. This loyalty. Yeah, we didn't do feed them. No. Oh, I didn't put mine. Does that get you a point? When I uh, starve the people. No, does it get us a point? Oh, when I starve the people, I'm supposed to get a point too, I think. Oh, no, you just starve the people. Okay. Okay, okay so now let's Isn't do- Isn't starving the people enough? Yeah. <laughs> so, guild status again. Okay, so- One, two, three. 15. Need eleven. <clears throat> Landscapes I get four. Yes. four. I was about to put my mine next time. Just getting further ahead of you. Gonna help with your Okay, that's our riches. second one. So now we're on scoring. So now we're in the game. Epic Voyage. So, how many do I have? You get nine. Nine, I get five. Wow. Five. Large Empire. Oh, for each. Oh yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I get eight points. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay. Fielding anyone else? I thought you have seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're right. Yeah, few, none of us have few them, so we don't get three points. Identical. So, you know, let's see, do you have any more outposts? No. No, you don't get outposts. I have one, two, um, I have three towns, I think, don't I? Yeah, I've got three towns. Okay, so you get three points. Let's see if I have three farms. I don't think I do. One. I only have two farms. Oh, okay. no, I do. Wait. One. Two. Yeah, you know. Okay, so I have three towns. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, I think you have farms. One, two, two three. Yeah, I got farms. One, two, three. Uh, what else? I don't, know if you, I don't think you have the outpost. One outpost. Oh, do you? Is that an outpost? You have three outposts too. Yeah. One, two, three. That's helped you with all that. All right, sure. Do we uh, get points for these? No. Silver. So, one for each three? Yeah, we'll do yours first. I get five points. Okay. I get, let's see, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 42 divided by three. Okay, so. 14. Yeah. And? See, I don't know if I did it or not. I think I did. Two. I don't even know what that one means. This one, you got I have one. that, that. I have two of them. So, so yeah. is that five points? Yep. I only have two, right? Yep. Which? And I don't understand what this one means. I need to look at it. Oh, this is you. This is, uh, you don't get points for it. That's like, you trade, it's a trade one, I think. Where is it? Right here. Reach three and one guild to earn three influence, one seal, or, yeah. See, I don't think I did, did I? No. Okay. I got all three. I got 17. Yeah, I didn't really understand that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I knew you were going to beat me. Yeah, this I one, this one. don't have a full understanding of these writ cards. They're hard to so, decipher. This is what sealed the deal. <laughs> yep, he beat me by four points. I only beat him by two last game, so... Yeah. It was close. I had a feeling he was going to beat me because mm. his riches. <laughs> <laughs> that did, did give me a lot of points. I was spending my money. Mm. So, like a three hour game, two hour <laughs> game, I don't know. I don't even know how long we've been playing, but I do really like this game. It is long. It's the, a, the more you play it, the more you understand it. Yeah. And it, it actually becomes second nature, like. We're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> but we were pretty some close. Some things are, some things, but I, you could mm. see I forgot everything I learned mm. during our playthrough. I had to relearn it, but it was quicker. It wasn't like before when I was like totally relearning from scratch. Like we, I, we didn't do much of the push and pull. No, because we couldn't. I couldn't mm. hear that state because no one was in this one. So mm. it kind of put the bottleneck. Mm. And then. We were both taxing, so we didn't need that one. So yeah. there was really no need for them. Yeah. We did a lot of the pushing and pulling last. We, I will say replayability on this game oh, yeah, huge. is high because this game was a totally different game than last game. We were doing more pushing and pulling. We didn't have all these influence tokens last time. I mean, it was a totally different game. And whenever we have time to play it again, I could totally see I would do things differently. Yeah. Like every time I'm learning something, I just hope I don't have that learning curve again by the time we play it again. Because it's, we don't have three hours to play many games unless we're doing a video. Yeah. So 
it'll be a while before this makes it back to our table. Even though I do like the game, I do like it. But it's, I do like it because it's a lot of strategy. Like there's very little uh, luck baits. It's yeah. solely a strategy it's, game. It, and your head is just, you got to be on top of your game. I was not on top of my game this time because I was so tired and exhausted from, I mean, and it's, it's after midnight. So we started late after mm. doing all of our chores and everything else. So yeah, it's, you have to be on top of your game and really know this game to be able to breeze through it. But plan on like hours of learning. Yeah. And three hours of play time. Well, two and a half, probably. Yeah. Probably two and a half. Our first game took like an hour and a half. Yeah, because we were, um, we weren't we were, uh, we upgraded more. improving things. Yeah. I was more being more tactical um, as far as protecting what I had. So he kept taking stuff away from me last time. So I was more in protection mode. Yeah, I was more, I once I real, I got this car, I was like, yeah, that might cinch the deal on the win. And yeah. so that's why I doubled down on these territories. See, I was going to try to get here, but the game ended mm -hmm. before I could do it. That was, but it wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have been able to beat you even if I had got one more. That would have only gotten me two more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I... I didn't forgot about the shillings. So, yeah, this is definitely a thinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a good game. I do not really like complex games, and I was disgruntled, I will admit it, <laughs> when he told me this is what we are playing. When I heard the complexity score, I was not... I really enjoyed this game. <laughs> I was kind of bratty. <laughs> but once I... Started playing it. This I is, really do like it. Yeah. This game is beautiful. <laughs> just to look at. Like, the whole time we're playing it, you, you kind of, like, you yeah, lose I love, yourself. And, I love the well, art. I love the style yeah. of art. And I love the feel of it. I like the concept. It's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Especially when you're tired. <laughs> yes. So, if you... If you liked our video, if you were able to sit through two and a half hours, thank you. <laughs> um, or if you fast forward even, thank you yeah. for that too. If we mess up any of the rules. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, please give mm. us a like, comment. We love comments. Mm. Anthony responds to every comment. Um, and we would love it if you've subscribed mm. our channel if you're not already. Mm. All the support we can get is awesome. It helps us to continue to do this. Mm. Um, and do you have anything else? No. He'll put the product link in the description. Mm -hmm. We always do that. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.